Hey guys, it's Iris. And it's Amarin. We're just here to talk to you guys a little bit about how our school years have been. They're ending now. We're going into our senior year. We're going to be putting ourselves through a lot of unbelievable stress over the next couple months. And we just wanted to sit down and have a conversation about that. And also, maybe for all of you who are going into your senior year also, leave a comment down below the bar and we can have a nice little discussion about that. Also, on our website, we'll be streaming different updates on how our process is going. So if you have anything to add with that, feel free. I would just like to start by saying today was the last physics class ever, and I'm very happy to be done with that class. I can say with a fond heart, not really, JK, I fucking hate you, Mr. Wadness, <laughs> die in a fucking hole. I hope your children fall in a manhole and die. That's mean. He was nice. I hated him. He was a suck-ass teacher, but he was nice. He was doing my recommendation, and I hate his guts. That's probably not a good thing. But he's doing your recommendation? Probably. I'm you asking him, him in the fall. Really? Dude, I'm having five teachers do my recommendations. This one's insane, if you couldn't notice. She's insane. This one's applying to a, an extremely competitive college that requires lots of recommendations. <laughs> Literally, I'm getting five, I believe, academic recommendations and two character community service recommendations. So in total, I'm going to be sending in eight recommendations to the college of my choice. But that's partly because my grades suck ass, and I need something to bring them up. Yeah, I only need one. Lucky. One, and one essay. Lucky. And it's still, like, a super, like, mid Amazing school. college. Yeah. <laughs> but lucky for me, it's more academic shit than Rex. Mine is much more Rex, and it's much more, like, it's weird. It's, like, people-based. I'm applying just so you guys know, put it in context. My top choice school, my dream, my baby, is Johns Hopkins University. And mine is University of North Carolina, which I made a previous video on in my other YouTube channel. Check that out. Yeah, it's awesome. And so those are what we're kind of aiming for. Um, we're both going into something medical related. I'm aiming to be a doctor, emergency medicine specialty. And I'm going to be a pharmacist slash Navy medical officer. So that'll be amazingly epic, but mm -hmm. we just have to get over the whole hurdle of actually getting in first. And applying so. in the whole process of... And the hell that goes along with yeah. that. But um, we're looking forward to it. Also, one thing that I was really concerned about was the misconceptions about SAT scores in colleges. You know, you hear these people that are like, oh my god, if I don't get a 2100, I'm not going to Harvard, I'm going to go to a soccer college, I'm not getting into anything. No. Just slap yourself in the fucking face because you've been lied to. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so to elaborate on that, you don't need a fucking 2400 to get into the college you want. You need decent grades, you need to be a decent person, and you need to be able to prove that you're actually going to add something to the world. I feel like just from looking at um, the brag sheet I had to fill out, the brag, the separate brag sheet I filled out for my history teacher, and also from talking to different college reps, they're really looking for someone who's going to give that school a good name. I'm sorry, but if you get out of college and you do something bitching with your life, and they know you went to such and such university, that's going to get that university press. I mean, why do you think the Ivies are such big colleges? Name a president that hasn't gone to one of them. <laughs> They want people who are going to contribute big things to the world and are going to be big names. A college is a business just like anything else. They need to make their money just like we need to make ours afterward. So sell yourself. It's not just about grades. It's like about making yourself look like a really hot commodity. Because without you applying to these colleges, they wouldn't be able to get 50 grand a year. And That's my two cents. Don't make the same mistakes I did because I'm actually one of those people, like, hardcore. And I made the big mistake of getting an okay grade on the SATs but wanting to do better so I retook them and I got my scores this morning and I did worse the second time than I did the first time and I've been in a bad mood all day. Serious? Yeah. What'd you get? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it like it just completely ruined my day and yeah don't make the same mistake as me. Which reminds Please me people don't. I get my SAT2 scores today, and I'm pissing myself at the moment, so right after this video, I'm probably going to look at them, and we might do a video a little later for a reactionary video, but, um, God, my reaction, of... this is my reaction, <laughs> so, um, honestly, guys, as long as you're not getting, like, 
fucking, I think the average is 1600 Yeah. So as long as you're not getting, like, below that. Below a 1600 yeah. you're gonna get into whatever college you want. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even think the average is 1600 I think the average no, is, is more, like, it's seriously? 15, yeah. Wow. Well, oh, wait, 1300 is what most colleges will take. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're looking at, like, a state school, like a U.S., well, we're from Massachusetts, so I'm just gonna say U.S. Amherst, or something like that, they're gonna take you as long as you have a 1300 or above. And that's just based on averages. If you have something less than that, as long as it's not, like, less than a thousand, if you just fucked up on your SATs and your grades are really amazing, they're not gonna bitch at that. You have to understand that they need students. (laughs) That's pretty much what it boils down to. They can't charge these exuberant prices if people don't want to go, okay, my bra is showing, okay. Bye-bye, titties. (laughs) Just kidding. Okay. Now that you're not staring at my tits, I'm gonna just go down a little bit like this. Okay, now we're good. So, anyways, sell yourself to the colleges. Make yourself look like a good brand name. Like that nice little purse you want. Yeah. That nice little Gucci bag. You're that motherfucking Gucci bag to Harvard. Harvard wants you. Go for it. That was deep. Actually, that wasn't. That was me being a hooch, but whatever. That that was deep. Yeah. Oh, damn, my tan line shows. Tan! That's so In case you can't tell, I'm as white as fuck. Normally, and it's starting to get really hot here. It's like June, and yeah, you're stripping in front of the camera. Line. Line. That's like bad. Line. <laughs> Who's gonna want to watch this video now? Wasn't they've been scarred for life. Sliding my bar off. So we'll make another video later. Okay. Uh, peace out. Don't forget our website, amrith.iris.tumblr.com. Check it out. We'll have the link down at the bottom of the page as always. Subscribe to our YouTube page. We get a bunch of other videos there. I know it's been really hectic during the school year to get everything done and to actually commit to making videos once a week, but Amrith and I are going to be doing a little summer business type thing. We're doing pet sitting for our neighborhood, so we're going to be seeing a lot of each other, obviously more than once a week, so I'll actually be able to make videos and hopefully make it really amazing for you guys. Sorry, I just burped. I ate. And man. <laughs> I am a man. And also subscribe to my YouTube, AngelHeart214. I make lyric videos and other fun stuff like that. So check it out. And also, our Twitter. We just started up a Twitter account. So Twitter slash Amrith.iris. Um, really easy to find. I believe we're the only Amrith and Iris on there. So Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, just get at us. Bye. Shit, how do I stop this?